The Environmental Protection Agency has now reached a settlement with Indy's Two Chicks and a Hammer over alleged violations depicted on their TV show Good Bones. Rich Nye has reaction tonight from the company owner and the fine she'll have to pay. Mina Starziak Hawk and her mother Karen Lane started rehabbing dilapidated Indy homes 15 years ago. They became two chicks and a hammer. Their beautiful renovations can be seen all over neighborhoods on the near southeast side and on their TV show, Good Bones. The Environmental Protection Agency apparently watches. The EPA alleges that starting in 2017, two chicks and a hammer worked on three homes built before 1978, where they did not comply with the lead renovation, repair, and painting rule. The violations were depicted on episodes of the show Good Bones. The EPA said in a news release, compliance with federal lead paint laws is essential to protect children across the country and is a priority for EPA. With so many people watching TV shows like these for tips on remodeling their own homes, it's extremely important for these shows to demonstrate lead safe work practices. The EPA did not specify the alleged violations, but announced a settlement that includes two chicks and a hammer paying a $40,000 fine and Mina starring in a video about renovations involving lead-based paint. The owner responded to the settlement with a statement which reads in part, we have always taken all precautions when dealing with hazardous materials when demolishing structures. That part of the process isn't interesting enough to make the TV cut. We value our buyer's safety and recognize the importance of the EPA and the importance of builders following safe building practices. Now, as part of that settlement, the two chicks and a hammer will be posting another video on their social media account about protecting kids from lead exposure.